This place needs no introduction. There are no words to describe the impact this vast rainforest has on our planet. From its sprawling jungles to its meandering rivers, there is life everywhere. But sadly, the abundance of life in this magical place is under threat. And in this video, we will attempt to shine a light on all things good and bad about the most important rainforest on Earth. In case you are new to this channel, we are Mark and Asa. We've been traveling through South America and having skipped Peru due to the ongoing political situation in the country, we find ourselves in one of the most biodiverse countries in the world, Ecuador. The Ecuadorian region of the Amazon has a huge amount of flora and fauna that call this place home. It is also home to numerous groups of indigenous people whose lives are very different from the lives of us who come from the modern world. Before we talk about those experiences, let us show you the amazing jungle lodge we used as a base to explore the Amazon for five full days. Anaconda Lodge surpassed all of our expectations. Impressively, it is built using recycled wood and the rooms, lounge areas and the hotel exterior are all exceptional. Our lodge doesn't have a glass on the mosquito nets. The idea of it is to be closer to the nature, to have like kind of camp experience but at the same time in the comfort of your lodge which is amazing. Each meal was prepared to perfection three times per day and served by friendly local waiting staff. This is the first thing I've put in my mouth and if everything's like this I'm gonna be the size of a house by the time I leave this place. And it was. We really couldn't recommend this place highly enough. Francisco and Sylvia are the perfect hosts and genuinely care more about the environment and wildlife than anyone we have met on our travels so far. They're also helping to tackle the major problem the Amazon is facing in the moment, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. So after making our way to the small city of Tena on the edge of the Amazon and spending the night there, we were picked up in the morning, transferred to the small river port and eventually arrived at the lodge via canoe. As first impressions go, we were blown away by the beauty of this environment and couldn't wait to get exploring. First up on our Amazonian adventures was a trip to see a local indigenous family home where they have a thriving chocolate making business. As we walk through the jungle looking for the natural cocoa to pick. Mm. 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 Yeah. We encountered some interesting plants and trees that our amazing guide Freddy showed us how the indigenous people use them for various purposes. For example, this spiky fruit called Wetook contains a natural red ink that Ecuadorian indigenous people use as a face paint and makeup. Freddy made sure we all got to try some on. These vines are extremely strong, used to build houses and even restrain wild animals if they become aggressive. Although we wouldn't like to see that have to happen. Cinnamon. Oh, this is the cinnamon fruit? Wow. Oh, it's mm. so much. This fruit's shell is hard, almost like wood, and is used to make bowls and cups for the indigenous people to eat and drink from. We soon realized that absolutely everything that these people use in everyday life is completely organic and taken from the natural plants, vines, and trees in the area. After learning about these fascinating details about Amazonian life, we were then taken through the chocolate production process and even got to make our own to try. This was completely organic chocolate, so it tasted different to the average bar you'd find in your local supermarket. It was rich, not milky or sweet, and it was a really nice experience to try it. After feeding us with chocolate and fruit, it was time for the local family to show us what they do for fun. This sport is called blowgun and it is a traditional sport that is played a bit like modern archery. The aim is to shoot your arrow as close to the middle of the aisle as possible. We each had a few turns of this sport and Mark actually turned out to be pretty accurate. Asia didn't adapt to the game quite as quickly and let's just say the owl remained fairly safe when it was her turn to play. Another thing we got to try with this family was their organic alcohol called chicha. Chicha is a white yellow liquid with a milky consistency and a sour aftertaste that's usually around 3% alcohol but gets stronger over time. Back in the day they actually used to use their own saliva to mix it together but luckily for us that's one tradition that did not stand the test of time. We realized very quickly that this is an extremely strong woman, but not because of her chicha making abilities. Incredibly, when we were visiting, she told Freddy in private that she had just been stung on her leg by the dreaded bullet ant. She didn't complain once about the pain and just stuck to her task. So let's talk about 
bullet ants. While hiking through the Amazon rainforest, there are some creatures that you just do not want to piss off. And bullet ants are right at the top of that list. So that is a bullet ant. It's probably the most famous insect in the Amazon. And it's about this size, so it's really a lot bigger than the other ants. And apparently there are four scales of pain that insects in the Amazon can give you. Level one is pretty painful. Level two is like twice as painful as that. Level three is also twice as painful as this. And there are loads of insects that fall in these three categories. And the only insect in level four is the bullet ant. And it's meant to be the worst pain in the world. Obviously it's named the bullet ant because if it bites you, it's like getting shot wherever it bites you. You don't want to be messing with that thing. The hikes we did through the jungle were among the highlights of our whole experience. Dense, flourishing rainforests are the perfect place to explore the native flora and fauna this place has to offer. And to live here, inside, mm. in the branch. Oh, they have a little house there. Lemo, it's the acid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> is it oh. good? Oh, acid. Are you going to eat all of those? Good luck. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's lemon. Mm -hmm. Mmm, it actually does taste like lemon. Some of the most interesting species of wildlife we encountered during our hikes were poison dart frogs, bullet ants, spiders. Freddie was just telling us about the black venomous tarantulas that live here. During the day, they live deep in the roots of the trees. They're sleeping, but hopefully on the night walk, we'll get a glimpse of them. He was saying that if you put your hand near a hole in the tree, there's likely a tarantula there, and if it sees your hand, it'll attack you and it could leave you paralyzed for a couple of days and vomiting and just not feeling very well at all. So we're not gonna be putting our hands in any holes. Woolly monkeys and a huge variety of beautiful birds. Majestic birds like the Huatzin. Huatzins are the last surviving member of prehistoric birds that went extinct over 50 million years ago. There are alternative names for this bird of stink bird or stinky turkey. This is why the bird has not gone extinct because it smells so badly that nothing else wants to prey on. This is also a very noisy bird species with a variety of hoarse calls including groans, croaks, hisses and grunts. That's a pretty interesting bird if you ask me. Speaking of smelly creatures, Mark is here to talk about one of the <laughs> animals who spotted a lot in the jungle. As we said before, the owners of the lodge we stayed at do a lot for the local area and the next thing we want to talk about is one of their projects, Laguna Cayman. As the name suggests, it is a lagoon that is home to black and speckled caimans. Francisco, Anaconda Lodge's owner, has helped reintroduce the speckled caiman to the region and charges tourists $3 to enter the attraction. With every $3 earned, he puts every cent back into the locality, helping children to go to school and even building houses for indigenous families in the area. This is a must see if you're in the region and a visit here really has a positive effect on the environment. Black caimans are the apex predators in the Amazon basin, but luckily for our next activity, their ideal living condition is in lagoons and lakes, and not in rivers. River tubing is the perfect way to cool off after a big jungle hike. Floating down the river is the most peaceful and calming activity we could imagine. It is a great opportunity for some bird watching and more wildlife spotting, like these monkeys. The bad news is, as Francisco explained to us, monkey sightings are becoming less and less common due to the increase in construction work that is happening in the area. Which brings us to the negative part of this video, but it's a topic that is very important to be shared and talked about. According to the Ecuadorian constitution, nobody has the right to commence work on any part of the rivers or jungles that make up the Amazon rainforest. This rule is simply being ignored, as you can clearly see illegal gold mining taking place on the banks of the rivers. Gold mining brings several problems to any area, with possibly the most catastrophic being that it results in mercury being deposited in the rivers, making it impossible for marine life to survive, destroying countless rare species in the process. The work is also taking its toll on the native wildlife in the jungle. Not only is deforestation an obvious problem, other hidden problems also exist. For example, Mother monkeys are becoming scared of the noises being made by the construction workers and this causes them to abandon their babies in the wild, often when they are too young to look after themselves. This has already had an effect on the spider monkey and woolly monkey species in this particular area. Finally, it also really affects the indigenous people that live here as construction work often changes the course of the rivers putting their homes and livelihoods at risk in the process. Luckily, there are good people like Francisco and Sylvia here to try to put a stop to this happening and they're fighting an ongoing battle. Francisco isn't getting any help from the government. In fact, it's the opposite because gold mining generates too much money. So the best way to help him and help the Amazon is to spread the word and spread videos like these. 
On a more positive note, there are still millions of species of wildlife around. There is an expression that says the Amazon comes alive at night, and there is no better way to get a glimpse of some beautiful creatures and unusual insects than taking a nocturnal walk through the jungle. So we are about to do the coolest thing that you can do when staying in the Amazon, and it's a night walk through the forest. Uh, yeah, seriously, a night walk through the forest. We have these torches and it's gonna illuminate everything. We just tried it out on the bush there and you can see absolutely everything. It sounds scary before you do it, but trust us, you will love it, even if you aren't the best at dealing with creepy crawlies. You might think you'd be afraid when you get up close and personal with some of these creatures, but in reality, doing this is the best cure for any phobia you might have. This was an eye-opening week where we learned so much. So what are you doing? <laughs> Not supposed to eat this. It, you're supposed to eat this. What's that? Lemon. It's not lemon, but it tastes like lemon. Everything tastes like lemon. The, the ants yesterday tasted like lemon too. <laughs> we learned some really positive things about the Amazon. This is a live termites nest, and they here in the jungle they get termites and rub them all over their hands and bodies to make a natural mosquito repellent. So I don't know if it works or not, but that's what they're for. And also, as we explained, some not so nice things that we really want to shine a light on. And we hope you can as well by sharing this video. And as you can probably tell by now, we couldn't recommend Anaconda Lodge highly enough for so many reasons. Please leave your thoughts in the comments below. And if you found this video useful or enlightening, please leave a wee thumbs up as well. Next, we are heading to other interesting places in Ecuador and this country really surprised us. And don't forget to turn on notifications so you don't miss out on our next videos. If you're lucky enough to be in a position to be able to go to the Anaconda Lodge, we are positive that Francisco and Silvia will make sure you have something to remember just like us.